Okay, let's talk about the reset of this radio. This is a ubiquity NAND station. So you just need to have the radio, the power supply, some cable so you can test it out with a computer. And here, of course, I'm going to connect the power supply and this power strip, okay? And, and of course, also you, you also need a needle or a paper clip like this one. So here basically what you need to do is to power the radio. So I'm gonna use this small cable just for reset. And then I need to open the radio like this. Okay, so I have access to the LAN port. Then I'm going to connect this cable. So here I connect the small cable. And then I connect to this power supply. Here's the PoE port. That's the one I have to use to power the device. So let me just connect the cable here to the PoE. And we can see that it's going to power. We're gonna see the LED here when I connect, of course, to the power strip. You're gonna see the, the radio powers. So let's do that. Here we go, connect to the power strip. And you're gonna see that the radio has power now. Okay. And I'm going to connect this to the computer so I can check if the reset is done correctly and if I can have access to the radio. Okay, so I just connect here to the LAN port. I have here the LAN port. I'm just going to connect my cable here. And then I connect to my computer. Here we go. In fact, it's a laptop. So now I have power supply. It's on, the radio it's on, and it's connected to my laptop, okay? Let me just grab my needle, and I'm gonna use the reset button that I have here. Here we go, there's a reset button here. I'm gonna just press the needle here and hold for 10 seconds, okay? And then this LED here is gonna blink, showing that the radio is resetted. So let's do that. So I press here, uh, let's try again, let me just put this other position that's better for me. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I release it, and I take a look here, I can see that it is blinking, that means it's resetting, okay? Now I go to the, my computer and here I can press this key, this Windows key plus R and type CMD and opt it, open the prompt and ping the radio, right? I have ping 192.168.1.20 space minus T to ping uh, constantly and here I'm gonna wait for the radio to respond, right? 192.168.1.20 is the original IP of this radio. See, that's responding now. And then I can have access to the radio. Okay, let me just hit Ctrl C here to stop. If you don't have the IP, uh, the correct IP on your computer, it's, gonna, it's not gonna work. So what I have to do is come here to the network, right click, open network internet settings, Ethernet, change adapter options. And here I have my Ethernet cable connected. As you can see here, there is no red X, meaning this cable is connected, right? So I right click here, go to properties, and here to Internet Protocol version 4, double click. And here I have my IP. As you can see, it's 192, 168.0.160. It's different from the radio range. The radio is using one something, 120, right? So what I have to do here is just add uh, an extra IP. I go here to advance it. And here I can have, look, my first IP. And I have IP on the two network, 192.168.2.160. And I also have one. You see, it's the same range of the radio. You just need to click here and you can add your IP like this. Let's see, suppose I don't have the IP yet, I could just type here like this, as long as I am the same network, when I click here, 
it fills for me, 255, 255, 255, and then just hit add, and I have the extra IP here, right? I'm not gonna do that because I already have the IP, right? Mine is here. So that's the reason I can ping the radio. Let me just close everything here. That's the reason I can ping the radio like this. And the radio is responding now, right? Now I can just open here a browser and type the IP 120. And here the first time it gives this message, your connect connection is not private and yada yada. So you can click here, advance it and proceed to connect to the radio. Here we go. So you type UBNT as the username, UBNT again as the password, and then you select your country, here United States, click here to the terms of use and click login. Wait for a while, I see that's working here and I have access to my radio and it's working now, okay? So it's pretty simple, you just need to use a, a needle, press and hold for 10 seconds, the radio is going to reset and just need to make sure it's working and you need to have the same IP range in your computer that the radio is using, right? The default, the default IP is 192.168.1.20 and username and password is UBNT, okay? I hope that helps and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and also uh, your comments, okay? See you in the next video.